Hello, everyone. Uh, I just got back from Mexico, and I wanted to discuss a really important find. Uh, the place that I'm talking about was Tula. Tula was the ancient capital of the Toltec people in what is today the state of Hidalgo, Mexico. The site was historically important around 800 to 1150 AD. The most important structure at the site is the five-stepped pyramid, most likely dedicated to Quetzalcoatl. This is the main pyramid seen from behind. You enter the archaeological site from here. Remember that in this video, I'm not wanting to provide you with the history lesson on Mesoamerican culture. What I want to accomplish is to show you the amazing find my research and investigation accomplished during my most recent trip to Mexico and what its implications are for future sites. Notice that are, there are many different builds of the pyramid. This shows occupational time frame differences, differences in material available or preferences in material, and quite possibly different groups, maybe not always what we would consider the Toltec. This is a side view of the same five-step pyramid at Tula. This is signage from the INAH, which is the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico. These are the Atlantean stone warriors found on top of the pyramid. They were not originally located here. The statues were placed here by one of the original archaeologists leading the excavation. One of them is also a recent copy filling in for the one that was sent to the Anthropology Museum in Mexico City. So I prepared my GER 3D subsurface imaging system to conduct a non-invasive look into what is below the top level of what is today remaining of the pyramid. I conduct a grid pattern search going from south to north in a five column grid, seven to 10 steps each line or column. I wear a specialized magnetometer that detects the magnetic field where I'm stepping. The data is collected and transmitted to a software system in a tablet that I'm holding. The magnetic readings are then converted into a color-coded system that's interpreted by the software. Green is normal ground readings, blue signifies a void or cavity below, and red is some type of metallic object. Voids and cavities produce a lower magnetic reading than the average in the area. This is because there's less material available be below the ground, creating that lower magnetic field for the location. Metallic objects provide a magnetic difference that is higher than the average material below. This is converted to red color code in the software system. Based upon my grid map of five columns by seven steps per column, averaging gate step, or rather spacing, I detected a metal object on my first grid search of the Tula Pyramid. Wow, take a moment and think about that. The object looks somewhat circular and approximately 10 to 12 inches in diameter. From how the void space is showing around the object, I believe it was lowered down and then the area over and around that object was filled in. Consider what this truly means. There's something metallic buried inside the pyramid that is yet to be discovered by archeologists. As a matter of fact, my initial discussion with those at the site showed that everyone was completely unaware of this. I only conducted a single grid search because my imager failed when it continued to have issues connecting via Bluetooth technology. Now the system was made to collect data in this fashion and rarely fails like this. It makes me believe that something magnetic inside the pyramid may have been interfering with the technology. This also happens often when I'm on the Uinta Basin looking into anomalies at, yeah, you guessed it, Skinwalker Ranch and other locations around the ranch. Now think about it carefully. A single grid search produced this amazing result. What else is hidden below our feet, not only at this site, but other historical locations around the world? New technology is making it possible for us to start making new discoveries and also assisting in making what is today considered paranormal into tomorrow's normal, with the science hopefully understood behind the phenomena. 
So quickly, this is the stairway to the top of the pyramid that I was on, taking, getting the data points. And this is showing where the Atlantean war, warriors were originally located when the site was originally being worked and excavated. They were down below. This is one piece of technology that is making new finds possible. The data points collected can be analyzed and also duplicated to show what is happening below ground or where we need to dig next. In the end, just think about how important a find like this is. I plan on conducting similar research at other megalithic sites and paranormal locations around the world. Remember that when I use the terminology paranormal, I mean that it's a site that has high strangeness activity occurring and that scientific data must be collected to interpret and see if the science can solve what is currently misunderstood or yet to be fully grasped. Take care and please remember to follow me so that you can see my data collection and my research and investigation results. It'll hopefully make a dent in the realm of the unknown. Thanks and take care.